Thomas and Percy liked working at the docks. So when the Fat Controller told them they'd be working there for two weeks, they could hardly wait. But when they arrived at the docks, there was a new crane there called Cranky. Cranky was always moody, and he called Thomas and Percy useless little bugs. The two engines were very upset. They told Gordon and James about how rude Cranky had been. To their surprise, James and Gordon backed up Cranky. He's so high up in the air, said James, facing the wind, rain and sunshine, that it's no wonder he looks down and sees you as annoying little bugs. Thomas and Percy hoped Cranky would stop being so mean to them. The next day, Cranky played a trick on Thomas. He told him to move the cars to the outer track. Thomas was surprised, but he did as he was told. When the Fat Controller arrived, Cranky said, I asked Thomas to put those cars on the inner track, but he has put them on the outer track, where I can't reach them. And Percy won't do as he's told either. The Fat Controller was furious. He sent the engines back to the station in disgrace. Cranky was making it all up. A storm raged across the island of Sodor that night. At the Fat Controller station, Thomas and Percy talked about Cranky. They were upset that the Fat Controller had believed his lies. They wondered if they'd ever be allowed to work at the docks again. If Cranky is going to continue being nasty to us, then I don't want to work at the docks anyway, Thomas said. Percy had to agree. At the docks, the wind and rain were lashing down on Cranky. In the shed nearby, Duck, James and Gordon were listening to the storm. They thought that they were safe there, but they were wrong. A huge steamer had gotten loose and it was heading straight for the docks. Steamer ran aground. It charged through the docks. and knocking Cranky over. Duck Gordon and James were trapped. They called to Cranky for help, but Cranky had fallen onto his side. The Fat Controller went to the docks. Thomas and Percy are coming to help you, Cranky, he said. They'll have you up again in no time. Oh, thank you, said Cranky. Um. Can you tell them I'm sorry that I was so mean to them? So it was you that was causing all the trouble? It seems I owe those engines an apology, said the Fat Controller. <coughs> Thomas and Percy quickly pulled Cranky back upright. Cranky was very glad to see the world the right way up again. He got straight to work, clearing away the rubble. Duck, Gordon and James were very grateful. I never thought I'd be rescued by a couple of... Cranky was about to say bugs, but he stopped himself just in time. Um, small engines. I'll try not to be rude to you again. Now move out of the way, you mites. I need to get to those trucks. Purr, he's back to bugging us. Wait, cried Thomas, but he was too late. He still looks down on them from his high perch in the sky. But he never calls them bugs or mites. After that stormy night, 